Hello guys, hello Facebook, hello YouTube. Um, today, it will be something different. Um, hindi ako magshare ng information or my predictions or my speculation about players and their cards. But this will be a flex post or a flex vlog, if you if you may uh, say so. Um, this I shall be uh, sharing my collection of the of autographs of the greatest players of all time na sinabi ng NBA because the NBA as we ha we all know no naging controversial pa to um, uh, during today is it's his uh, diamond uh, anniversary meaning it's their 75th year in existence yung yung league no yung NBA ngayon uh, dahil dati no 1987 1986 to 87 1996 to 1997 they uh, presented their 50 greatest players of all time during their 50th year, no? Their golden year. Um, ito naman, Diamond, ang pinresent nila is 75 greatest players of all time. Naging 76 kasi nag-tie. May nag-tie dun sa dun sa ranking or dun sa voting, no? no? So, today, ang ipipresent ko yung first 25 based on the al al alphabetically ordered natin, yung alphabetical order natin. So, the first 25 uh, from A to F, no, in a way, parang ganon. So from uh, mga players, no, I will be reading them. Si Karim Abdul-Jabbar, si Ray Allen, si Yanis Antetokounmpo, Carmelo Anthony, Tiny Archibald, Nate Tiny Archibald, uh, Paul Arizin, Charles Barkley, Rick Barry, um, Elgin Baylor, Dave Bing, Larry Bird, Kobe Bryant, Will Chamberlain, Bob Cousy, Dave Cowens, Billy Cunningham, Steph Curry. Um, Anthony Davis, Dave DeBusher, Clyde Drexler, Tim Duncan, Kevin Durant, Patrick Ewing, uh, sorry, Julius Irving, then Patrick Ewing, and then Walt Frazier. No? So, yun yung mga ipipresent ko na autographs sa, sa, sa video na to. I, so, I won't be explaining a lot, but uh, magtatry ako mag-explain sa ibang mga kung paano ko nakuha yung autograph nila, kung magkano ko nakuha, kung naalala ko pa. So, uh, let's go, no? So, let's see kung ano yung mga hawak ko na yan. So, susunod na video, yung next 25 ulit, and then the next 26, no? And, uh, siguro at the end, no? At the end of the, of my, the series, in a way, three-part series to, in a way, for the uh, greatest players of all time, my autographed collection, uh, autographed card collect, cards collection of the 76 greatest players of all time. Nasabihin ko na rin dito yung thoughts ko, kung sino yung mga snubs mo no ayo ayo ako mag-create ng controversy na meron akong tatanggalin do sa 76 players because a lot of uh, our friends no especially in the Philippines who love basketball have their own take on it and yung iba iba dun sa na pwedeng matanggal uh, marami rin silang fans no ayo ako naman mag uh, uh alam dun sa 76 players of all time so what should, what do i know no but meron akong thoughts sa mga nag na snub no so, magpe-present din ako doon after siguro ng mga vid ng, ng after ng 76 uh, after the, the 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 last 26 for that matter. So, so let's go try and tinan natin yung first 25. Let's go. So, here goes everything and everything. <laughs> here goes something. No, ito yung mga again, alphabetically arranged. Ito na nga yung mga autographs ko, my collection. Of the 76 greatest players of all time in alphabetical order, we'll start with the first 25. So let's start number one with Abdul Jabbar, Kareem Abdul Jabbar. So this is his Lakers uh, autograph from Panini Preferred 2014 15. Okay, numbered 33 of 50. So it's an eBay one of one. Jersey numbered of Kareem Abdul Jabbar 33 of 50. So ayan yung likod. So, unpriced to because of the jersey numbered, no? So, ito rin. Uh, this is also a uh, EB1, eBay 1 of 1 being first of the series, no? 01 of 25 from um, Noir, no? This is from 2014-15, Panini Noir Basketball. So, ito yung nakabox naman siya, no? Number 33. Uh, 33 siya din sa box, eh, Where he also won a championship with Oscar Robertson. So, ito yung gold parallel ng Noir. Noir. Uh, one of 25. So, that's the first player. Abdul-Jabbar. 
Marami nagsasabi he should be the number three behind Jordan, LeBron, and LeBron, no? So, number three player of all time. But some would argue that that pat siya ang number two or even number one, no? Well, in any case, ito yung number two sa list, no? This is Ray Allen. Okay, Ray Allen. Allen. So, Ray Allen, no? This is from Skybox, 96-1997, Autographics. Yan ang likod. And uh, this is also his um, rookie auto, no? And nakaano pa siya, nakasimbrero siya ng box when he got drafted uh, by the box in 1996, no? So, this is now valued at about $200, no? I think he got this for about 5,000 pesos, if I'm not mistaken. Or less, less than, so for about 4 or 3, I can't remember correctly. Okay, so 200 Beckett value, 200 dollars Beckett value. Siguro about natatapos to around I don't know, 150, 180 dollars right now. Okay, so that's number two. Number three would be the the ano tag uh, the defending champion, no? The Milwaukee Bucks is uh, Yanis Antetokounmpo. This is his Court Kings Rookie RC Auto, fresh paint. This is now valued at $1,500. I think I've shown this already before. Okay, numbered to 499 in my other vlogs. Napakita ko na to. Okay, this is now, again, this is valued at $1,500. Magkano ko nakuha? 1,500 pesos. Roughly, it sells for that much then on eBay. So, wala siya sa hard case, no? Because it's in a binder. I just took it out. So, that's number three. And then, the fourth would be Carmelo Anthony. Ito yung autograph ko ni Carmelo. Ayan. Rookie card din to. This is from Topps Contemporary Collection. Number to 499. Ang nalikod. Ayan siya. It's also on card. Topps Contemporary Collection. Rookie auto. Very, very cheap. Mababa lang ang mga Carmelo Anthony's. But, um, on, on Beck, it would Beck it, no? But on eBay, medyo mataas na rin yung mga rookie cards niya. Okay. So, next would be Tiny Archibald. Ang Tiny Archibald ko, I have about three of them. I'll just show you one. Kasi ito yung naka-inscribed na Tiny. So, Nate Archibald. From the Kings, no? Hall of Fame. This is from, I can't remember kung saan ko nakuha to, but I can't remember the product. But I think it's Panini Basketball Hall of Fame, eh. I, I, I love that uh, set. No? But uh, meron mga inscriptions na ito nga, Hall of Fame monikers, no? One of them uh, was signed by Nate Archibald, no? Nilagay niya Tiny. Natawag sa kanya Tiny Archibald. He once, I think, um, was the scoring leader, was, was also the assist leader at one uh, in one season i think no ayan ang likod number 299 fairly cheap lang ang mga autograph si tiny archibald hindi naman mahal and they're not that rare but ito maganda kasi may inscriptions usually pag ganyan may mas may konting uh, mas maganda ikaw nga mas maganda at minsan mas sinahanap um, next would be paul arizin no who passed away, who already passed away. Okay. And siya. Grades of the game. Clear grades of the game. 2005-2006. Ayan. Clear grades of the game. Ito is already a product of Upper Deck. No? Kasi nabili nila yung Fleer at this point. So, ayan. Patay na to. He's already, has, he has already gone. Tsaka kahit ang kinan niya yung autograph niya o medyo nanginginig yung auto. No? Was considered one of the best the first best power forward power forwards of all time. See si Paul Adrizin, no? Uh, next would be Charles Barkley. And Charles Barkley autograph ko, as I mentioned, di, meron ako naka Suns, meron din ako naka Sixers. I'm not getting a Houston Rockets uh, autograph because I hated him in Houston. He was too fat <laughs> and slow. But in any case, ito yung kanyang hoops, no? Uh, from Panini Hoops. Hot signatures, no, not numbered. Uh, this is from 2018-19 hoops basketball, Panini hoops. 
So ayan na no? Okay, ito hindi ko pa naipakita Naipakita ko na yung naka-phoenix siya So ayan Okay, next up would be Rick Barry I have about a few Rick Barrys in my collection I think I have a, an emerald number 25 Doon tumitira siya ng parang uh, underhanded sa free throw Ito yung kanyang, uh, kamukha nung tayo ni Archibald ko to Ito yung panini basketball hall of fame from that set no? Incidentally, naku, uh, ano to eh, from 2010 yung set na yon. It's number 2, 484, 489 Yeah, 489 Ayan yung likod. Ito naman yung harap, no? On card din. Ayan. He, from the Golden State Warriors. He won a championship also with the Golden State Warriors. He's also the dad of Brent and John. Tsaka yung isa pang Barry. Forgot the name. So, again, ito yung mga susunod, no? Uh, yung susunod naman would be um, Elgin Baylor, who also has passed away. Okay. Laker great, no? Elgin Baylor. This is from 1998, Epic Signatures from Upper Deck. Century Legends, ang tawag dito Epic Signatures. Okay? This is one of the first legend autographs that I got from PAX, no? So, this has been with me since 1998, would you believe? Ang tagal na, no? Since 1998, how many years was that? No? 2008 to 2018, it's more than 20 years, about 25 years with me tong card na to. Okay. So, next would be Dave Bing, no? From Detroit, the Detroit Pistons. Ito, very, very rare ang autograph si Dave Bing. This is from Leaf Basketball. Wala ako nung naka, na NBA niya na, ano, this is from Leaf, no? Na kaya naka-airbrush yung kanyang jerseys. This is from 2013, no? Sobrang baba lang nito at that time because nobody really wanted um, Leaf basketball autographs no, on $15. I got it for $15 ngayon. Medyo mataas na to. Uh, because of the fact that he is a rare signer. No, if you want to complete the, the 50 greatest set and the 76 players, no, greatest players of all time, medyo mahirap makuha si Dave Bing. No? Medyo mahirap makuha si Dave Bing. So, ayan. Si yung Leaf ko ni Dave Bing. A Detroit Piston great no? So next would be Larry Bird This is my autograph of Larry Bird Marami naman pinirmahan si Larry Bird But uh, right now Hindi siya masyadong pumipirma This is from uh, uh, 2008, 2008 and 2009 Exquisite collection Number 233 Ayun. This is his player box autograph No Merong jersey version yan Meron tong patch version Ayun na Number 233 Okay, ayun Hindi okay. natakatakpan ng pirma niya Masya, hindi ako ko nakikita Ayun, number 233 This is now just valued at Would you believe? $300 Beckett Considering exquisite siya So, kung ganyan Dapat mas mahal, hindi ba? So, Beckett has it adjusted um, When I see Buy it now from Sellers on eBay Binebenta to between $2,000 to $3,000 I would assume about $1,000 to nabibenta If auction Okay Ito naman, nakuha ko lang to from eBay I think I got it for 3,000 pesos if I'm not mistaken Way, way back yeah. Next would be Kobe Bryant Okay So, Kobe Bryant Not surprisingly Siyempre meron tayong autograph yan Dahil napakamura lang nito dati I got this autograph for just 4,000 pesos, would you believe? In 2000, I don't know, 2010 ata. Ito yung naka-number 24 na siya, from Upper Deck Premier. No? 2007-2008. Noteworthy autographs commemorating his 81-point game. No? Number 281 siya, number 18 of 81. So, baliktaran. Okay. So, yeah, noteworthy. Yeah, okay. From UD Premier. I'm not mistaken. This is valued at about $600 lang at or $800. Beckett, no? But, syempre, mas mahal na dun to. Unang-una, pre-panini autograph ni Kobe yan. So, it should be more expensive than the panini autographs na, na walang jersey or walang patch. Alright? So, there, no? That's my Kobe Bryant autograph. 
na pwede kong ipakita meron pa akong dalawa niyan so next would be kapakita ko na rin to in my previous vlogs is my um, Will Chamberlain autograph no? poor man's Will Chamberlain autograph alright ayan naman no? para doon sa mga hindi nanunood nanunood nung vlog na yon alam ko na authentic to even though GAI lang may kwento dyan so panoorin nyo yun no ito naman, kaya ako alam na authentic because ito yung diamond logo ng upper deck dito, no? Before he died kasi, this was supposed to be inserted in tax, but it never transpired, no? Um, nung namatay na siya. Ito yung Will Chamberlain na isa. Pag, naka, pag ano yan, tinan nyo yung difference, nakabilog yung yung uh, hollow, hologram. Ito, hindi bilog. It's diamond. So, there. So, it should be authentic. Okay, So again, panoorin nyo na lang yung vlog ko na nag explain tungkol dyan. It's about PSA DNA BAS certified autographs. No? Next would be Bob Cousy. Okay, ito rin, medyo rare signer na si Bob Cousy. Mahirap maghanap ng autographs niya. This is from his um, Upper Deck Legends Legendary Signatures 2003 and 2004. I think I bought this for about 600 pesos at that time. 2003 din. So, look here ni Lebron to lumabas. Ayan si Bob Cousy, no? Meron din siya sa Epic. Meron din siya sa Retro. 1998 yon. And then, he signed with uh, for Upper Deck again in um, Upper Deck Legends, no? Ayan siya. 600 pesos, would you believe? Right now, this would be would, would cost a lot. Kahit ata 10,000 meron to. 10,000 pesos or 200 dollars. Mabilis to. Because he rarely signs now. And he's old. No, next would be Ayun, si Dave Cowens Okay, for the Celtics no? Again, this is also his uh, epic signatures Pakamukha ng Elgin Baylor ko no? Epic sig signatures in 1998 no? which, who was, which was released in 1998 Epic signature, Century Legends Dave Cowens, Celtic great Right, next would be Billy Cunningham For the 76ers For the Philadelphia 76ers This is from Gold Standard Okay, medyo mahirap kumuha ng autograph si Billy Cunningham The Kangaroo Kid No, this was released in 2011 Ayun And I think I think it should be numbered though Ayun, number 299 Ayan siya Number 299 Kita pa Ayun, number 299 Alright, so ayan Itong ano na to, itong cloth na to It's just manufactured, no? Parang design lang Pinirmahan ni Billy Cunningham dito Para magbukang parang jersey Jersey sign The jersey, uh, game use jersey na hindi naman So hindi, hindi siya game use jersey It was just manufactured So in his uh, Billy Cunningham sign there no? So kind of rare Very rare ang autograph si Billy Cunningham Next would be Steph Curry Okay, may Steph Curry Napakita ko na rin to In my previous vlogs, no? Ito naman is now worth $10,000 Beckett value $10,000 So approximately half a million pesos Or $500,000 Number to 225 Exquisite 2009 and 10 The last um, exquisite ever released Featuring them in NBA uniforms no? Although ito Signed na ng panini si Steph Curry no? Hindi na sila pwede pumirama sa ibang sa ibang uh, card companies no wearing their uh, NBA unis no but dahil exquisite siya ito yung isa sa mga sought after cards ni Steph Curry no again it's number 225 rookie auto 500,000 pesos approximately or 10,000 dollars Beckett all right next would be Anthony Davis very very controversial Okay, ko tanggalin ko lang sa sa ating protector. Ayan siya. Anthony Davis from Panini Threads 1213. This is not numbered. Meron pa akong isang Anthony Davis na rookie auto, rookie auto to. Um, um ano ba, prism 'yon. Mas mahal 'yon kaysa dito in terms of Beckett, but this is on card no? Yung isa sticker kasi 'yon. So ayan siya. I think $600 so ito about $200 lang ata, Beckett. But it sells for about 150 lang. Hindi masyado mataas ang ang ano ni Anthony Davis. Sabi nga ni Charles Barkley, Anthony 
Street Clothes Davis, no? So, very controversial. Medyo yung iba sinasabi na dapat hindi pa siya nilagay sa Hall of sa well, sa 76 rated sa list, sa list no? Because uh, some say that Dwight Howard should be included, no? But well, he, he is included and I I'm not saying that he should not be. I'm just saying what others people are saying, okay? What others are saying. Okay, so so unibrow. Okay. There, no. Next would be Dave DeBusher, no? For the New York Knicks, no? Sandali lang. Ayusin ko lang ng konti. Okay, Dave DeBusher. And Dave DeBusher autograph ko is not licensed by the NBA. This is from college, ano to eh, college uh, signatures, you know, 1994 signature rookies, no gold standard na nakalay. This is also from, I think, this is also a sister company of, uh, asa nasa Beckett naman to eh, so it's listed, uh, scoreboard, no, I think. Ayan siya, Hall of Fame, naka New York siya dito, <laughs> uh, number 2688 of 2500, no, so it's serially numbered in a way. Hand number the yun sa Dave DeBusher. Sure naman na pirma niya yan. No? Yeah. Okay. He's also passed away. By the way. Yeah. Wala na rin yan. Be medyo ayaw. Yung ibang... Nung isa, isa, part siya ng OG eh. Ng original 50. Some say that he should not be included eh. He should have not been included. Next would be Clyde the Glide Drexler. Alright. Ang Clyde Drexler ko is not a simple autograph. Maraming pinarmahan si Clyde. Si Mr. Drexler for the Houston Rockets, for, for the Portland Trailblazers and the Houston Rockets, by the way. Okay, in Houston do siya nanalo ng uh, championship. This is number 249, notable nicknames from Panini National Treasures, 20, 12, and 13. Nilagay niya, Clyde Drexler, The Glide. Okay. Medyo mahal to ngayon. This could reach about three hundred to four hundred dollars because of the inscription. Okay, I got this for about I'm not sure, huh? But I think it's about three three five or so. Lang oh, ayan really good. Right, so nilagay niya the glide. Pag meron kaya sing inscriptions usually mataas ang cards eh ang valuation ng cards especially right now, no? especially for legends, no. Uh, susunod kay Drexler after Drexler we have Tim Duncan okay my favorite player of all time no my PC no. he's my favorite player of all time and also my pers my my main personal collection guy no. Tim Duncan this is his finest moments autograph no refractor yan lahat naman refractor this is not numbered ayan yung serial number niya for finest, no? This is from the 99-2000 uh, season, no? Ayan. Alright. Tanalo kasi ng championship si Duncan ng 19... Diba, 1998 and 19... Nagpumasok siya 97-98, eh. He won a championship in his second season in 98-99. Yung 99-2000, yung set ng finest, kinumemorate nila yung yung championship, yung first championship niya with him wi winning the finals MVP trophy and also the trophy of course of the championship no? naka t-shirt lang siya as usual <laughs> Ayan. this is now valued at 5,000 US, no? Beckett value, I got this for 6,000 pesos or roughly about $120 in 2005 right Ayan. medyo madaling mag fade yan kaya dapat medyo alagaan no? So there, no, that's Tim Duncan. Next would be Kevin Durant, no. Ang Kevin Durant ko is now valued at eight thousand Beckett, no. Yung Duncan is not an RC, yeah. Again, it's he, that that was released in nineteen ninety nine two thousand. Yung Durant ito rookie card to ng upper deck from Chronology. I got this for three thousand pesos, number to ninety nine. Okay, meron siya marami may mga pirma pa siyang iba sa na ibang design sa Chronology na ganun din ang presyuhan right now 8,000 Beckett 8,000 dollars Beckett roughly ganun din naman nabibenta yan Kevin Durant so I think I've shown that before na eh. 
So, ayun, no? So, Kevin Durant. Ang susunod natin sa list is Julius Irving, Dr. J. Okay. Ayan ang Dr. J autograph ko. From 2000 and 2003 and 2004, Ultimate Collection, Ultimate Signatures. So, rookie year ni LeBron. So, ayan ang likod, not numbered. Okay, ayan siya. No? Naka-76ers, of course. Number 6, Julius Dr. J. Irving. Okay. Yan ang first slam dunk champion of all time. Not, kasi kasama, sama mo na dun sa list ng ABA, no? Yung American Basketball Association. Siya yung unang, yun ang unang nag, naglagay ng slam dunk uh, event, eh. So, all-star game. No? Kinopia lang ng NBA. Next up would be last two na to, no? For the first 25. Patrick Ewing, no? Ito, very rare signer to. Medyo mataas na rin ang autographs ito. Ito, ito siguro pwede mabenta ng 15,000. I got this for 3,000 pesos. Shout out kay Danny Mondelo. Siya nagbenta sa akin at I remember that. Ay, naku, laking bagay ng tulong mo, bro. Ay, naku, paps, malaking tulong. Ngayon pa yung numbering niya, 108. Kung pala napapalitan yung ano nito, yung sleeves, no? Tagal na. This has been with me since 2005, I think. Eh, no? If I'm not mistaken. And Patrick Ewing no? for, the, for, for the New York Knicks. So, para nakakita kayo ng Patrick Ewing, you should get one. No, wag na kayo magpa-tumpik-tumpik. The last one for the first 25, alphabetical arrange ulit, no? Walt the Frazier, no? So, Walt Frazier is for the, for, played for the Knicks, no? For the New York Knicks. This uh, came out in a lunchbox, no? Nasa, naka-lunchbox ang, pa, ang uh, cards na to. Nando doon yung mga packs, no? Naka-lunchbox siya, nakadando doon yung mga packs. Ang tawag doon is retro. Upper deck retro. Dati na mo yung tsura, retro and dating, no? Ayan, retro. May nahabol din dyan yung Will Chamberlain. Meron din Jordan, I think, na autograph to. This one I got from a pack. From, yes, from a pack. No, very memorable din yan. Dahil magaling ako mga pano eh. <laughs> Nakuha ko siya in just a single pack. Nagulantang yung mga nagbubukas noon. That was in 1998 too. Okay. So, ayan, no? no? Ayan yung mga ating mga autograph for the first, autographs for the first 25 greatest players of all time. Okay? Lag, lagay muna lang ito para mag-end tayo ng tama. Isip ko muna to. Ayan siya. So, ito muna, no? Ayan. Okay, so, again, no? Naka, naka first 25 na tayo. This is the first episode. I might have four episodes. Uh, the next would be the first, the second uh, 25, and then the third 20, 26, no? And then the fourth would be yung mga na-snub. Yung para sa akin na-snub. Ewan ko lang kung tutuloy ko yung fourth, uh, no? but uh, definitely this, is, this will be a three-part series for my vlogs, no? So again, so thank you very much for watching. I hope yung mga nagre-request nito sa akin would like what I did, no? Although very simple lang. Uh, so, ayan, no? So, hindi naman ako nag-iayabang. I'm just flexing what I have had since uh, matagal ko nang... Uh, kasi I really love to collect autographs. Nas nagkataon lang na nakumpleto ko rin yung 50. Nagkataon din din na halos nakumpleto ko yung 76, no? Meron akong kulang. Abangan nyo na lang kung sino yung kulang ko. May kulang ako isa lang. But I have his aut rookie card na medyo considered to be one of the most sought after rookie cards in NBA cards uh, history, you know. So, there, no. Again, thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again pag nag uh, yung mga susunod kong vlogs about this, about the third, the, the 76 greatest, the greatest players of all time. Uh, and then, uh, hopefully, uh, manood din kayo sa mga predictions ko and those st stuff na sineshare ko um, uh, and my uh, selling vlogs ito, ito kasi sabi ko nga sa inyo this is a uh, flex vlog in a way but these um, a lot of you have requested me 
to show my um, 76 greatest players of all time nung pinakita ko yung sa 500 slam na diniscuss ko yung difference between BGS uh, BGS uh, BAS uh, authenticated PSA DNA authenticated cards no? uh, between that and the original the, the back pulled autographs no? well in any case no uh, thank again thank you very much for watching and two thumbs up no stay safe and good day to all salamat